This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. On the outskirts of New Delhi, just where the state of Uttar Pradesh begins, Vasundhara enclave could be a middle-class neighborhood anywhere in India. But hidden behind the folds of concrete and cement is an extraordinary story. Five floors up this modest apartment complex and we make our way to flat 501. Inside, the first thing we notice is the photographs on the mantelpiece. And in one quiet corner, one of India's most cherished gallantry awards. Last traces of a life cruelly cut short. 7 July 939 is where my time froze. I don't know when the Monday is coming, when the Tuesday is coming, when the year is ending, I have no idea. But the impact of that moment is still as raw as it was on that very moment. In the summer of 1999, 23-year-old Captain Anuj Nair was among those soldiers who never made it back home from the icy heights of Kargil's mountains. Fifty-eight-year-old S.K. Nair, at the time a professor at the prestigious Delhi School of Economics, and his wife Meena, a librarian at the university, felt their world crashing in when the phone rang that fateful morning. Today, three years later, Kargil has all but faded from a fickle public memory. But for this couple, it's painful to even talk about their son, to look at this brass dog on their drawing room shelf, their son's childhood mascot, who was his loyal companion even to the war zone, or to open the cupboard that once housed their son's clothes and confront the reality of these unworn wedding clothes. Anuj was to be married exactly one month from the day he died. Everywhere there are still sharp, jagged reminders. 8 June 99, our, uh, wedding, uh, the 25th wedding anniversary was there. So I wrote to Anuj, Kabhi bottle is ready, we will drink it. As it is, as we exist, it will exist with us. No surprise then that a father and a mother who were living on a prayer in 1999 said an outright no to the government's offer of a petrol pump. They were especially outraged that the word being used to describe their loss was compensation. I said, forget it, I'm not interested. If you give me the entire planet, leave aside the moon, there is no compensation. It was months later and only after a strong persuasion by then Army Chief General V.P. Malik that the Nair family agreed. You can compensate a leaf of tree? Can you reproduce it? It's impossible. But he said something which changed my attitude. He said, it is for Anuj. It's not for you. You are only caretaker. If Anuj comes, we will hand it over to him. Till Anuj is not there, you take it over. I said, okay. As a caretaker, I accept it. And I have accepted and I have functioned wholeheartedly as a caretaker. And as a caretaker, I want to see to it that nothing wrong is done 
on this small piece of land, 30 meter by 17 meter. Nobody on this earth can ever dare do anything wrong here. Kuch bhi ho, chahe wo DVB ka chairman hai, anybody else who dares touch this land with bad intentions, I will retaliate. And I will retaliate very badly. Because to you it is a symbol of your son. Yes, it's my son's memory. I have put up a stone there. And if you see that stone, two dates are there. One date, when I became father, 28th August. Just four inch away is another date, 7th July, when I lost my friend. They are constant reminder to me for the realities of life. He has gone with a purpose, he has left behind an image. That image exists on that small piece of land. And so the pump was named, not after Anuj, but after the entire battle zone that snatched hundreds of his colleagues away. 32 soldiers of Anuj's own regiment, 17 Jat, had been killed along with him. And so began the battle against a tangled web of bureaucracy. Once a week on every Thursday, SK Nair makes a 30-minute journey to the other end of the city, to the university to teach a class on international commerce at the Delhi School of Economics, where he is on the visiting faculty. Students and colleagues here may find it difficult to imagine this professorial personality in his other avatar. But this is what the days of his life are now dominated by, personally attending to customers at Cargill Heights and nurturing it like a child. And his day begins even before the crack of dawn, when the first stream of people start trickling in. Till two years ago, this was all swampy marshland. When IBP, his oil company, assessed the land, they forecast sales of only 2,500 litres of diesel and 1,500 litres of petrol in a day. Today, Cargill Heights can boast sales of 8,000 litres of petrol and 25,000 litres of diesel every day. It's an astounding success story, but only the Nayars know the war they had to wage to unshackle the chains of corruption. It was in March 2000, nine months after his son had died, that a formal letter was delivered to Mr. Nayar informing him that a petrol pump would be commissioned in his son's name. His first battle was simply getting the land for the pump to be built on. The Nayar family lived in Janakpuri, a neighbourhood in West Delhi, and hoped for a pump somewhere close by. Over the next six months, Mr Nayar wrote letters to Delhi's chief minister, the army headquarters, the airport authority of India and the Delhi Development Authority or DDA. But his pleas went unheard. Six long months later, a plot of land was finally handed over to him, but it was 45 kilometres away from where he lived. When nothing worked, it was Meena Nair who made the decision to lock up their home and shift into this rented flat. She chose this house because the petrol pump site could be seen from the balcony. The rent was a steep 10,000 rupees a month and the petrol pump was still only a plot of land. But the real loss was emotional. You don't believe that I was in the office. He was crying so loudly that my house fell down. In Janakpuri's house, there will be naturally dhool, mitti, everything will be closed. And then came the trek up the next mountain of bureaucracy, Delhi's police headquarters. Any potential petrol pump owner has to come here first to get the stamp of approval from the men in khaki. And as the Nayars discovered, this game was played by other rules. In August 2000, five months after he had received the letter from them, SK Nair's oil company IBP informed him that they had not been able to get the required licenses from the Delhi police. 
On August 10th, SK Nair began petitioning the police department headed by DCP Dvivedi for the eight licenses needed to begin work. For more than three months, the police simply sat on the files. Then I knew what exactly is uh, the problem. I said, never in my life I have entertained such requests. What did they say? Let's not talk about it. You know, I know, the public knows. They asked for a bribe? Let's not put words. How much did they ask for? Let's not put any figure. I will come to it later on. Okay. I was very furious one day when I said, either you behave properly, I will make you behave properly. This is the sub-inspector or the DCP himself? Or some... Junior. Junior. junior, junior. I was rebuked. And uh, I don't know why, but immediately I located the phone number of Mr. our Home Minister. And this is the letter he sent him. I am feeling a bit lost and desperate and have no innovative ideas to persuade the Delhi police to expedite my case. In fact, I was expecting that my case would be cleared immediately since Anuj was the recipient of Delhi's highest gallantry award, he wrote. A few days later, the licenses were cleared. So the petrol pump was now ready for kickoff, but there was one huge problem. There was no water, electricity or air and it soon became clear that money was the only way to navigate the stumbling blocks laid by the Delhi power board. It was only after interacting with DVB at various levels, I realized I'm fighting against the iron wall. Their bribe management system is ideal. They never come in face to face. They always send their missionaries, the feelers. And most of the time, they are the people who sit outside the DVB office, the Thekedars. And gradually, you know, the uh, things started becoming clear. The demand was for six lakh rupees to give me the electrical connection. But rather than pay a bribe, the Nayars invested the six lakhs in a generator. And for the next year, that's how Kargil Heights operated. But it was like keeping a white elephant. The Nayar spent 40,000 rupees every month just to keep the pump going, but were determined to fight. And this is when the battle turned ugly. I was not foolish. But what made me very violent was uh, a very responsible person of TVB. He comes to my pump and he says, how you can prove that you are the father of Anuj? I said, this is something I can't dream of. But if you want to have the proof, you wait here for half an hour, I will bring the proof. I picked up two photographs from my album, show it to him. I said, this is the first photograph. Anuj was born at 10.10 in the morning and I'm holding him at 11.30. The small boy you see in my lap is Anuj. This photograph is of same Anuj. I'm going to put him on fire. If this proof is not enough, you go to hell. That day we all cried. What kind of 
system is this. And Marty's father is asked to prove that his son who laid down his life for this nation, I am his father. I told my wife, this is the end. I will not longer tolerate and such. And this was a man from DVB? Yes. An official? Yes. Do you know who it was? He was suspended. He was one of those who asked for a break? Yes. Is this Balbir Singh? What happened was... What did you say to this man? You just... You showed him the photographs. I what did he say? Him. What did he say after you showed him the photographs? He smiled. Had the guts to smile at me. I said, look. My son died for this nation. And you have the guts to ask me to prove it. Sharamani shi aapko. Aapke liye chullu bhar paani bhi nahi available hona chahiye marne ke liye. You are that type of character. Aapki maut kya bhyankar hogi mere ko pata nahi hai. Mein koi badwa nahi aapko de raha. Magar aapne jo mere ko tang kiya hai. Bhagawan sada dega tumko. Then came July 2001. It had been exactly two years since Kargil, two years since Anuj Nair was killed. SK Nair's pump had still not been given an electricity connection. And then, on 26 July, Vijay Divas, the day that officially marks India's victory at Kargil, Mr. Nair decided he had had just enough. I shouted at Prime Minister. Shouted? Yes, I shouted at him. In the presence of everybody? In, every, in the presence of everybody. I shouted at him, Vajpayee Sahib, this Vijay Deva Sahib is making me, this is because of my son's blood. And he has given you the one Vijay Deva Sahib to make me, which day I will get Vijay Deva Sahib to get Vijay Deva Sahib to get Vijay Deva Sahib to get Vijay Deva Sahib. It took the Prime Minister's intervention to get a simple electricity connection. 